Hello everyone, this is Idan Zhu speaking. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at Faculty of Dentistry at the University of British Columbia. Today I want to teach you how to use Envivo to do interview data coding. As we know, Envivo is increasingly used for data analysis, particularly for uh, qualitative interviews. So today I'm going to uh, teach you how to use it step by step. Before you start, you have to prepare for two things. The first is to prepare your interview transcriptions, which means you have all the interview data ready in a textual formation. And secondly, you have to prepare a coding table based on your first impression from your transcriptions, which means you have to create a coding table based on different criteria that you think uh, which is most important from your interview text. Here is an example of coding table. I have created seven categories as my coding based on my interview transcriptions. So as you can see here, I create each categories um, based on a certain themes. And then when I review the interview data, I put every detailed paragraphs or text into different categories. Now I want to show you the easiest four steps for doing uh, interview transcri uh, transcription coding. The first step is to import data. So uh, you, you can import any kinds of data from your own documents to the Envivo software, such as uh, Word documents, PDF documents, or pictures, or even video or audio. Second, you can set up a coding table from your prepared one to the Envivo notes. Third, you can start coding based on the coding table from the uh, imported data. Fourth, you can, based on the coding table, and coding data, start doing data analysis based on the results. Now I want to share the screen to you to show you how to actually uh, do that. First of all, I use Envivo Pro. Many of you maybe already use it. And uh, uh, there are another version, it's called Envivo 12. So both of them have very similar functions. So I'm more familiar with Envivo Pro. So you can set up a new project by clicking blank project and then put a title on it. Let's say professional identity as the title of this project. So I click OK already there so I will uh, provide uh, set up a new project and secondly let's import the data from data and here you can see all different kind of um, materials that you can import such as the document the PDF survey audio and videos pictures memos anything you can upload you can even upload uh, Excel in the other forms of the documents. So let's say document, which is the word. So as you can see here, I already have this kind of uh, um, transcripts. So I just select them all and open and okay. Then all the interview transcripts will be um, uploaded to the Envivo software. Wait a second. Okay, so now all the data has been um, uploaded and imported from your personal documents to Envivo. Then uh, let's double click one item, you will see all the transcriptions are here so you can actually read all of them 
by using a label. And then the next step, we are going to set up a coding table. So a coding table is what I mentioned, you have to uh, already create all the criteria. Then we click the notes and we start to set up the coding coding table. For example, you can create new notes. Then let's say the first criteria will be the identity. Click OK. And then we create another one, we add another one. Let's say um, education is another criteria maybe. And the third, we create professionalism. So you can create much more than that. Okay, now we have this kind of uh, uh, coding criteria. Then we can create some subcoding criteria. For example, under education, we, we click education and create new notes. We create um, kitchen, maybe one of the aspects of education. And we could add another one, let's say learning, which will be another uh, criteria. And the third, we create another one, maybe say uh, in formal learning. So we could we could create a lot of sub um, sub uh, criteria based on the coding, and when we finish the step two, we are going to move to step three, which is coding process. So let's go back to the uh, sources here. We go back and uh, let's start to to do data coding. So we can read the transcriptions. Here, um, let's say this, this paragraph. Okay, when I finish with that, I can see uh, which talks about the teaching, maybe close to the teaching criteria. So I select them and then click code. And then we go to education. You can see here, maybe I will select teaching as the coding criteria and then click yes. Then the coding will directly go to teaching. You can see here from zero to one, there's one coding is ready. So when we go back to the uh, resources, we will see this paragraph has been coded. So we can click view. There's a highlight. We can uh, select coding for all notes. Then you can see, okay, this paragraph um, has been coded. And now let's move to another one. For example, this one. Okay, maybe it's close to uh, learning. So I click, click learn and then put it into the learning category. And then let's say um, another one is also about uh, teaching. So I also want to put it in teaching. Okay, so we can also um, code one paragraph into different um, notes which means we could code it twice. So again, I already put it in the teaching, but I also think it has uh, some, some information about uh, professionalism. So I select it again and then click code and send it to professionalism. Okay. So this paragraph has been uh, double coded. Okay, so after we code all these kind of data, interview transcriptions like there are uh, more than more than four interviews so I have coded all of them and then we we start to do the final step which is checking the data analysis and coding uh, we go back to notes and then we will see the also coding will show here in which means it will be reorganized in this way then we go to, um, for example, teaching. Okay, here you will see all the coding about teaching will come out. So you can see um, this is from reference one, is from uh, this document. And there are this, um, the person talk about this is based on uh, teaching. And the second paragraph 
here is also about teaching. So you actually can select them all and copy it and paste it in a Word document. Then it will um, it it could help your uh, interview data analysis when you start to read your interview data in this way. This is a, uh, actually a software for reorganizing all kinds of interview data and other uh, related uh, resources and the materials. So it really helps you uh, to reorganize all the data. So these are basically the four steps of um, interview data coding. After finishing uh, all these this kinds of uh, data coding, you can start to read and uh, uh, to, to write a uh, uh, qualitative research paper based on this uh, interview data coding. So uh, that's all. And I hope this tutorial can help you to learn how to use Envivo for doing data coding. And I hope I could uh, create more tutorials in terms of using uh, Envivo to do not only qualitative interview data coding, but also literature review and other kinds of uh, research. Thank you.